After playing about 25 hours of Fallout 4, I can't help but get the new game-itis. So I decided to make this video, which is about the games I'm super excited for. In no particular order. Fortified. This is definitely the odd man on the list. And if it wasn't for the awesome art style and my love for games such as Orcs Must Die, Destroy All Humans, and Toy Soldiers, it wouldn't be on the list. I mean, look at it! Who doesn't like a good, simplistic, addicting base tower defense action hybrid with a 50s aesthetic? Plus, blowing up aliens always makes for a damn good time. XCOM 2 I couldn't bring up Aliens and not mention the sequel to one of the best reboots in years. I played too much Enemy Unknown. Seriously, if Aliens attacked in real life right now, they better hope the combat isn't turn-based, because I will tactically violate their Xenos bungholes. In all seriousness though, this game is looking good, and being a PC exclusive means we aren't going to have any shoddy port problems like a few other games I won't mention here. I literally cannot wait to save Earth again. Stellaris I probably should have warned you guys about this list in the intro. There's quite to do with aliens in space and all that jazz. Stellaris differs from the previously mentioned titles as it takes space into a more galactic endeavor. The game will focus heavily on the exploration aspect of the increasingly popular 4X genre and claims that various events in the game will lead to emergent storytelling. I'm pretty much imagining Crusader Kings 2 in space and that's more than enough to get someone hyped. Game of Space Thrones anyone? Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade I couldn't have an anticipated games list without including one of my most anticipated games. Eternal Crusade is the currently in alpha Warhammer MMO I've been waiting for for years. While I, like many people who are under the game's alpha NDA, am unable to divulge further information about whether I find this game to be extremely satisfying and fucking awesome, or just some other feeling or emotion that probably doesn't justify it. Just know that if this game can live up to the hype, there is literally no better way to purge for the Emperor in a shooty type fashion. The Universum. Please, let this be the resurgence of the God Game. I have been so faithful to you for years, God Game genre. I have loved you, and I have taken the punishment you have dished out by releasing shitty titles for years. It's like after Black and White 2 came out, everyone just forgot how to make a freaking God Game. I mean, there have been a few interesting titles here or there, but not the true blue full-on ultra-mega god game we've all been promised. Don't try to defend Goddess here, by the way, because, yeah, I get it, you know, Molyneux is trying, but he already has my money, and I doubt he'll ever be satisfied with that game. I'm just saying. They drained my resources. Battlefleet Gothic Armada it's been a long time since we've had a good space strategy game like Nexus the Jupiter Incident. Sure, people release some interesting and often good titles, but nothing that really changes the game space, quite like Nexus did. Well, this game probably won't do that. It will be freaking awesome. I mean, just look at some of this schmexy space battleship brutality. Mmm, I'd ram their ships all night long if you know what I mean. The Guild 3. A lot of people don't like the Guild games. It could be because of the stiff animations, sometimes incredibly buggy gameplay, or the atrocious learning curve. Personally, I love these games. I don't think there has ever been a more engrossing, a more fun medieval life economic simulator quite like the Guild 2 Renaissance. You can have your opponents executed in a court of law if you have a family member on the council. Hell, this game is basically The Sims Medieval Hardcore Gamer Edition, and it's actually worth the shit. As long as Nordic and Golem Labs is able to keep the spirit of the originals and allow for varied and deep gameplay like the originals, 
I imagine this game is going to be an absolute blast. Master of Orion Even if you haven't played one of these games, you've at least probably heard of them and the atrocity that was Master of Orion 3. I guess whoever owns the IP now saw that this is the age of the reboots and was like, Come on boys, let's make a new Master of Orion game! So, here we are. Not much information has really been released on this game, and based on what I've seen, it doesn't really look too much different from any other 4X turn-based strategy on the market today. Take Galactic Civilizations 3, for example. With that said, though, I'm still super freaking excited, because who doesn't want to see a redemption for Moo 3? Roller Coaster Tycoon World. I know you're probably thinking, are you serious right now? Yeah, surprisingly enough, I am. I still play the first two Roller Coaster Tycoon games quite often, so you can imagine this has me pretty hyped. I just can't wait to catapult unwitting customers to their doom. <laughs> Yes. Yet people are already releasing pre-release reviews for the game, and I've seen a little bit of gameplay and it does not inspire confidence. In a way, I'm starting to get concerned that Roller Coaster Tycoon World might not be the tycoon game I've been waiting for. Nevertheless, someone needs to build Djibouti's theme parks, and I will be that man. Finally. Total War Warhammer. This is the final game on the list. Yes, it's another Warhammer game. Trust me, I'm aware. There were actually about three more titles I wanted to add to this that were Warhammer titles, but I decided to go with the variety route instead. What can I say? Blood for the Blood God, after all. Anyway, the gameplay of this game that's been shown thus far by Creative Assembly looks pretty damn fantastic. And I truly approve of how they're handling their PR for the game this time around. Rather than just having highly stylized cinematics, they've decided to show more gameplay footage, which shows me they understood the mistakes that were made in Rome 2 and Attila. However, my mind is absolutely blown as they make chaos, fucking chaos, a staple in every fucking Warhammer game a pre-order bonus, otherwise known as pre-order our game or pay $10 after the game comes out. The other two Warhammer games I listed both provide chaos as part of the full package, no, down no extra download required. Not some needed add-on that is hidden behind a paywall. To make matters worse, there will be no mod support for the game at all. I'm just saying. I still can't play base Rome 2 without some sort of mod enabled to make the experience bearable. So it heavily concerns me that this game won't have mods at all. If the combat is fast and arcadey, I won't be able to download something to slow it down and make it more meaningful or more decisive. Maybe I just want my dwarven rifles to be replaced by giant dicks, but no, I can't have that. Nevertheless, I am still excited for the game, and I can't wait to see it when it's finally released. I will not be pre-ordering it, however, and so help me God if this game is bad. I will give it a completely unheeded, unadulterated rant that would make my Total War Battles Kingdom video sound proper and intelligent. You have been warned. In closing, it really was hard to boil down all the new titles I'm excited for onto such a small list. And there is a strong possibility I will do more as time goes on. So, I'll end this with, what games are you guys excited for? In my hubris, is there a really fucking awesome game that I totally missed? I can't wait to hear from you guys. This has been Commissar Bro, and I'll see you all next time.